The trade sharing feature allows you to instantly share your trades to Discord or Twitter after submitting a trade. The contents of the trade message can be fully customized using our easy to use message and embed builder. In this video, we'll guide you through on how to set up trade sharing and building custom messages or embeds for Discord and Twitter. To get started, we'll need to get a webhook from Discord. To do this, you can ask your server admin or create one yourself. Right click on your desired channel then hit edit channel and go to integrations. Here you can create your webhook. You don't need to set a name or an avatar as the settings in our app will override these. To get your webhook link, just click the copy webhook URL button. Once you've copied the webhook link, we'll need to add it to the app. To do this, go to your user settings. Under trade sharing, click the webhooks button then click new webhook. Here, you can assign the name, add an avatar, and paste in the webhook link. You can also add mentions and role pings by choosing them from the drop-down menu or adding their ID in the role ID field. You can choose to share each trade on Discord in the new trade display, or you can enable it in your settings to always have it set to share. This next step is optional, as we already have default messages set up for sharing your trade. You can customize it by clicking on the embed button and going to our message builder. Here you can choose stocks or options, and for each event, such as open, average, partial, or close. Here you can choose to create an embed or just a message. These buttons here are trade properties. This is every aspect of your trade such as the current market price, the stock logo, or the stock ticker name. Keep note that any mentions or role pings you add here will be sent to all the webhooks. So if you have more than one webhook, you'll want to set mentions and pings with your webhook links. Now for the embed, I'll want to use my TradeHub username as the author name. So I'll click this property here. Then I'll want to attach my trade hub dashboard to the author name. For the author image, I'll want to use my trade hub avatar. So we'll use this property. I want my title to show that I'm opening a long or short position for the stock I'm trading and the price I'm trading it at. To do this, I'll use the trade type property, the trade direction for long or short, then I'll use the ticker name and the price that I'm trading in at. I can either use trade entry price or trade price. They're both the same. You can check out the preview down here below. I want to use some punctuation and use an uppercase on the first letter. To do this, I'll edit trade type here and capitalize the T trade direction here and capitalize that T. In my example below, it'll use the proper punctuation that I'm looking for. I want to attach my trade insight link to the title of this embed. To do this, we'll use the trade link property in the title URL box. Now I want to pick a color for opening trades, so I'll use green. For the embed description, I want to use some details for my trade, such as a ticker, entry price, and my trade notes. And I'll select the correct properties for these. You can take a look at the preview by putting in an example of input. I actually want my embed to look compact as possible. So I'll use these add field buttons to create fields in the embed. I use my ticker and my entry price. For the field value, I use the trade properties accordingly. Then I'll make sure to inline them so they're on the same line. There's plenty of ways to customize your message or embed. 
We've added some advanced properties to show stats like the stock volume or the previous close price, as long as the day's high and low prices. Make sure to save your embed when you're done building it. Now let's test it out. That'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.